All right, I had done some screencasts earlier this weekend. Uh, a bunch of people had like seen my browser, and they're sort of ask. I've got a lot of questions like, "What kind of browser have you been using?" This looks really nice. Um, so if you looked up here in the corner, it's actually just normal Firefox. Um, uh, the thing about Firefox is that more so than any other browser, including including Chrome, you can do these crazy modifications to it uh, that are really nice, and it's really nice to have. So in this video, I'm going to talk about um, how to change the skin of Firefox, uh, and also my general setup for what I have here. Um, so let me show you my add-ons. Uh, there are probably two that are relevant. One is VimFX and one is Stylish. Um, so we'll talk about Vim, VimFX first. Uh, it's really just a Vim, it gives you Vim-based keyboard shortcuts in your browser. So for example, J to go down, K to go up, or D to go down a page, U to go up a page, uh, or you can click on things with F, so I can press F, and then it gives me hints to all the links. Let's say I want to go to my videos, I press the whatever hint it gave me. Um, you know, I can go back with Shift H, uh, stuff like that. Uh, so it makes browsing a whole lot easier. You can just use your keyboard. So that's a really nice thing that I use all the time. Uh, it makes it more similar to like Cute Browser or other sort of keyboard-based browsers. Um, and actually, this on this machine, I don't have Cute uh, Browser installed, so Firefox is the only browser I use here. Um, now, Stylish is a little more multi-featured. This is the thing that you know lets me change the skin of Firefox really easily. Um, so in case you didn't know, Firefox by default, you can actually go into your .firefox directory and change the CSS to sites and even the browser skin. You can do that all manually. Um, now, if you don't exactly know how to do that, or if you just want a more you know convenient setup, Stylish really helps you with that. Now, how Stylish works is when you get it, you can click on it and you can click on uh, Find Styles for this site. And style, uh, Stylish allows people to publish modifications they've made to different sites. So here are a bunch of YouTube skins. And you can go here and you can click whatever you want, and, and then it'll load it. You know, I have a particular skin here. I forget the name of it. But um, yeah, so you can go and use other people's uh, changes, which are very convenient. Um, so that's what I do to modify different sites. And if you look at other sites I use, let's say eBay, uh, something like that. Uh, so you'll see, you know, I make it usually dark. Actually, eBay still looks like crap. It always looks like crap, but you know. Um, well, actually, let me, let me go ahead and just pull up all the different um, manage styles, yeah. So I actually have a bunch of skins for a bunch of different sites. So, you know, the Arch Wiki, stuff like that. So for example, Arch. Um, so it's nice and, you know, dark and stuff like that. And that's usually what I do. So Stylish just you sort of facilitates you changing these. Again, you don't necessarily need Stylish to do this if you want to do it manually, but it just really helps because lots of other people have already put up, uh, you know, code for it. Um, so about how I changed all of this, uh, you know, the like browser skin, you can actually just do that modifying the CSS of Firefox anyway. Um, so there's actually this one I have here that I made myself. Um, or I, th I think I got it from someone else and changed it, but, um, you know, uh, let me click back here. Uh, if I disable this, uh, you'll see that Firefox reverts to a more normal setup. Uh, I still don't have the, like, X signs, that's just because I'm on i3 and I got rid of the, the bar up there, I think. Um, but yeah, so you can, Stylish enables you to enable and disable all these pretty easily, otherwise you'd have to restart. Um, but yeah, so this has, if we want to... You can, of course, go in here and look at it. Um, really, you, there's just CSS for all the different URL bar, you know, notifications, stuff like that. And, of course, you can change any of this stuff. Um, so you can, I'm, I'm going to put this up in the description of this video so you can take a peek at it. You can install Stylish and just put this in, or you can do it manually if you know how. But I always do it through Stylish just because it's more convenient. Um, so that's how I get my browser looking the way it does, um, and it's pretty convenient. It you know there's no wasted space more or less. Um, so anyway, aside from that, there's one other optimization I don't think a lot of people know about, and that is, of course, as you know, you can have bookmarks in Firefox. That's a pretty obvious thing, uh, but you can also tie bookmarks to different uh, like shortcuts or keywords. 
Uh, and in fact, you don't only have to tie bookmarks to keywords. You can also have searches to keywords. So for example, let's say, um, you know, I want to go to my website. I just type in home. Now, whenever I type in home, I've mapped that to go automatically to my own website. Or for example, let's say I want to look something up in Wikipedia. Let's say I want to look up, uh, I don't know, uh, Linux. Uh, I just press W space Linux and type that in and it automatically goes directly to Wikipedia and pulls it up. And you see I have this very nice Wikipedia skin as well from Stylish. Now how you do that, it's actually super easy. Actually, I'll show you how to do it here. Uh, just right click on this uh, you know, search bar and you'll see this thing that says add a keyword for this search. And um, that'll bring this up where you can you know, save this name, you know, save the search as whatever name you want. And then you put in a keyword and I've put in W now, I'm not going to say this because I already have it, but you know, uh, so that's how you do it. It's pretty easy. And for any other bookmark, uh, all you have to do is go up into your bookmark toolbar, right click on it, um, and then go to properties. And you'll see there's also a space for keyword, and you can put whatever you want here. Uh, so, you know, we'll say I am for, you know, image magic. Now, if I type in I am, it goes directly to that site. So that's super convenient. Um, so I have this set up for all the sites that I use at a daily basis. So I don't even have to think about what their URLs are. And of course it works for, um, I mean, sometimes people ask me what search engine I use. I usually use uh, DuckDuckGo, uh, but because I have a lot of things like, oh, let's say I want to search something at eBay. I just type in EB and then, you know, X200 and it pops up. So I don't really even use a search engine because I usually just search. I use these keyword searches to go directly to the site that I'm thinking about. Um, so yeah, so it's really convenient. Um, but anyway, so hopefully this has given you a view of the kind of stuff a lot of people don't know about Firefox, but definitely stuff you can do pretty easily. Uh, again, I'm going to put the stylish uh, skin up in the video description. If you're watching this video in the future, I'll go ahead and give you a warning. Firefox might change, it might not work, but anyway, you can do it yourself either way, so uh, have fun, enjoy it.